Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough What's up everyone? My name is Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. We're gonna talk about how my wife left me. On April 11th, I drove her to the airport in Salt Lake City and dropped her off. And Marissa went back to New Jersey. As I'm filming this, it's May 5th. So it's been almost a month since she's been gone. Since dropping her off at the airport, I have been working at a boat dealership in Salt Lake City called Premier Marine. I worked there last year in the spring and the fall, and they've kind of left an open door policy for me when I'm passing through, if I want to work for a few weeks and make some money with them. Today we are headed to see two of my favorite people in the whole world that just recently 
settled down and retired from full-time truck camping life to full-time living in Colorado life. So I'm gonna be hanging out with them for the weekend and then also helping them open up a coffee shop. I shouldn't give myself that much credit. I'm gonna help them move some heavy stuff into the coffee shop so that they can open it up. I don't know exactly how long I'll be here helping them move stuff around in order to open up this coffee shop, but I'm definitely excited to check out Colorado more. I haven't been here in over, let's see, since October of 2022. So about a year and a half since I've been to Colorado. So this is awesome to get back out and check out a different state. Spent so much time in Utah over the last year and a half that I'm a little Utah'd out. Once I get to my friend's place in Oak Creek, Colorado, I've got to go pick up one package, one important item. Then we're gonna go check out Steamboat Springs. I haven't been there before, so it should be awesome to check out a new town and go out to eat and drink there. I believe tomorrow morning starts opening up the coffee shop. Making my way through Steamboat, on my way to Oak Creek, headed to go see Dalton and Amanda. Met these two back in 2021, going to a Friendsgiving that another fellow full-time RVer was putting on just outside of San Antonio, Texas. They were on a six month tour through America and didn't have to work. Marissa and I were doing just our own Airbnbs at the time, so we didn't have a whole lot going on. So we traveled with them for about a month all through Texas, went to Big Bend National Park with them, did some off-roading there, some of the more Jeep type trails that this rig's ever done. Did New Mexico with them, went out to Kingman, Arizona with them, and that's where we parted ways. They went up to skied and snowboarded that winter. Marissa and I went to Mexico, broke down down there. They were gonna come to Mexico with us. Thank God they didn't. They would have felt compelled to stay with us when we were broken down, which would have ruined their snowboard season too. Super excited to get to see them again. Spend a week or so with them. They're two of our, without question, favorite people. Favorite people on the planet. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I am 25 minutes away from Dalton and Amanda's house and it's freaking gorgeous here. Truck's done great on this trip. It'll end up being about a six hour total drive with just a couple of pit stops for going to the bathroom. Yeah, truck crushed it. All sorts of mountain passes up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, taking our right turn for Oak Creek. Seven minutes to County Road 14. We made it. Little kitty cat back there could not be more ecstatic to get out of the truck. Come on, buddy. You ready? Come on. Come here. Come on. We're going bye bye. Yeah. He's so silly. Almost all the time requires that you give him a little bit of extra encouragement to get in the bag. Let's see what kind of disaster we got in here after a six hour drive. Not too bad. One towel down. All righty. Let's let this animal out. Mm -hmm. Did you like freedom? So I am a little bit less than level. So we'll see if we can improve upon that somehow. All right, first things first, let's make sure this diesel heater works. Next step, slide out. I always give the slide a little push while going out just to make the motor hopefully last longer. We've been fortunate enough to so far not have any issues with our slide. So yeah, the more time I walk around in here, I'm feeling super not level, so. First thing I attempt to do for that is gonna be to let the air out of the bags in the rear. My bags are not hooked up to some fancy compressor system. They're just manual, so. So, same deal on this side. First random car to see me. Hopefully nobody rats me out. Sure you're not supposed to be camping here. We'll see how long before we get kicked out. So diesel heater turned on first try. I think it's safe to say that I fixed this thing. Full clean out and a new glow plug filter. Seems to have fixed it. Yeah, it's not smoking anymore either, which before it was smoking like crazy. Sweet. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to get situated in here. Then we're gonna go pick up our very special package. Then we're going out in the steamboat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Me too. 
Yeah. Sorry, you have to sit on the floor though. <laughs> so I didn't actually get rid of her and she didn't actually get rid of me. I was back in New Jersey setting up an Airbnb for one of the local business owners. He has a beautiful home right next to one of the bars in the lake. Four bedroom house that sleeps eight. Has an in-ground pool, gorgeous outdoor bar. We'll put a link to the Airbnb in the description of this video. Yeah, so that's where Marissa was all this time. And now we're back together and we're gonna be showing you what we've been doing at Sweet Pine Cafe. Let the animal out of the cage. Let me out. Who does it have him with me though? Welcome to the Sweet Pine. We've been here for three days so far doing projects. Everything from putting together furniture. Bathroom went from an ugly green to this lovely blue. Close. Uh, it's exciting. It's so